So I called, you know, some black men sassy the other day. And I wasn't talking about all black men. And I did address that, you know, I loved y'all and I thought y'all was kings. But, you know, y'all came at me. Y'all y'all brought pitchforks. Y'all told me off in the comments a lot. But you know what? I'm proud of y'all. Y'all all stuck together. Y'all defended each other. I thought, I thought that was cute. I did. You know, y'all said sassy men unite and y'all all held hands and y'all had y'all pitchforks and y'all signs and y'all, you know, y'all showed me, but I'm proud of y'all. Y'all, y'all all stuck together. Wait a minute. Who are you? But what I mean when I call a man sassy, I call you sassy when I feel like, you you know, you're getting a little catty with me. Oh, here we go again. Like you're trying to fight me with your words. It has nothing to do with a man disagreeing with me. Like we're allowed to disagree with each other. You're allowed to disagree with me. It's okay if you disagree with me, but it's about your approach. And I personally do not like when men, especially men that are of color, like I, I am of color. I don't like when y'all get catty with me in my comments and in my messages. I don't like when y'all try to fight me with y'all words when y'all don't know me. You can say I disagree with you without insulting me. You know what I'm saying? F you, you lonely, you sound like an airhead. All you got to offer is your looks. Um, you did this and that Not, without knowing me, telling me what I did and what my life is like. That's when I consider you a sassy man. And I can I call you sassy because that's what you you call people when they get catty with you. When when like a little No, the thing is the comment section is starting to strike the nerve of women like this woman right here. The thing is, like I, it's just weird to me. It's like these women just expect men not to say anything. They could be catty themselves, but when a man is catty back to them, their only defense since their brains malfunction, they're like, what, what what's going on here he's responding they're not used to it it's to say that he's sassy and that is hilarious because it's like why do you want men to just sit around like robots and not say anything to you and what happened is the men's responses is what struck a nerve because it's obviously true because why else would she make a video she's lonely she's by herself she doesn't have a man dudes probably only use her you know what i'm saying for booty calls at two o'clock in the morning and they just skeet off on that chest of hers and try to aim for that tattoo you know what i'm saying on the top part of her uh near her clavicle and that's it that's what guys do that's what struck a nerve and she's like well you can't get catty with me who the hell are you to tell a man what he can and can't do in the comment section the nerve of these women they're not used to this they're not used to being you know struck down and roasted like this they get so upset when men say things back to them and the thing is uh it's because you know she she looks kind of decent but you know she loses points with the tattoo she loses points with the lace from the attitude and the shiny forehead you know what i'm saying looks like you know a brand new uh polished bowling ball that i can just roll down the lanes and get a complete strike every single time but those type of comments like if i was to leave those remarks there in her comment section because of what she said she would call me you know sassy because i'm being catty with her i'm checking her that's the thing this woman has never been checked dudes probably you know used to let her get away with all sorts of stuff but now it's 2024 men are not falling for that so your only defense is to say just because they lift up a mirror to you and show you your reflection hit you with some truth bombs you call them sassy absolutely hilarious how women think they could just puppet men and be the puppeteers and just have men think that they're not going to say anything and say oh well i shouldn't be catty with her who the hell are you you know what i'm saying just because a man has the ability to completely roast you and all you can do is dismiss him by calling him sassy doesn't mean that you cannot get caught in this crossfire and i find it absolutely hilarious but yeah man her life decisions her choices all the things that those men were saying probably under the comments she didn't show because they probably were hilarious i would have read them if she would have showed the screenshots of the comment section and i would have cracked up 
and i think her uh tag is in there for tiktok you guys can go check her out and let me know what the comment section says because i'm pretty sure she was it was touching nerves she was getting roasted and then she had to make this video for her own ego to make herself feel so much better because she's a princess in her own delusional mind but this is why guys are getting their passports because they're not dealing with women like this <laughs> they're just not <laughs> okay i was about to get ready and i saw this tiktok where this woman said that she's sick and tired of how negative dating uh, content creation is and how the women are so negative and uh, always are talking down about men. And she she said something that really just activated the the warrior in me. She says she hates Shira Seven and she hates that girl with the annoying voice. I won't lie to you, as soon as she said the girl with the annoying voice, I knew exactly who she was talking about, but I thought that that was such a mean-spirited thing to say. And this is what really uh what's mean spirited is the fact that you glossed over what she said at the beginning which is women are negative which is a true statement because if you go on there it's women complaining about men talk about how men are trash about how men ain't shit about how men are all of these things it's funny how you glossed over that truth that this woman was speaking but you got upset because your idols and the women in the sisterhood like whoever whoever the hell this seven person is and the girl with this with the uh, funny voice i don't know who that is either but if i see their face or see their videos i'll know who she's talking about she got upset because they were being attacked just because the woman is not a part of the sisterhood absolutely hilarious but you know what we're tired of we're tired of women like yourself tying bed sheets across your head just to hold together that weave that belongs to some woman that's in syria that's what we're sick of you know what i'm saying you're tired of these so-called uh pick Mishas. we are tired of women who take whole pillowcases that are made out of satin tear them up rip them up and tie them to put them on their head instead of putting them on the pillowcase i mean on the pillow those pillowcases are for pillows the sheets are for the bed they're not for your head what the hell and you want to write this like video um first of all there's no possible way you can write a video i mean chat gpt does have a new feature but i'm pretty sure you're not smart enough and intelligent enough because you know you got that popcorn bag tied so hard on your head that you can't even think to use that or wouldn't even know what the hell it is if somebody put it in your face so yeah oh, god these are the women that are upset at women who actually want to get men <laughs> ridiculous she then goes on to say she wants to share her fairy tale love story say say bitter much much and this is her fairy tale she met the man she got pregnant by the man i think she said twice gave the man two kids and now they're engaged as per she's a baby mama and has not yet married this man and that is what she's calling her fairy tale love story you pick me's are out of control guys i have no idea who this woman is or who the hell she's talking about but honestly by the way she arranged this story she's just a bad storyteller altogether because even i was able to put this together and i was confused in the reaction the thing is she's saying that she got the guy whoever this woman is this pig misha supposedly she got the guy she gets married to the guy and has the children it sounds like she rearranged it and says she has the two kids by the guy becomes a baby mama and then gets married but the goal is to get married and that is something that you probably won't even get she probably has a better shot at getting what her supposed fantasy is in her head because she understands probably you know what it takes to get a man what men are actually looking for and not delusional out of her brain because yours is just filled with sand and you know a sandbag that's pink wrapped on top of your head and she probably has a better idea but the thing is it's just absolutely hilarious that this woman is going after and attacking this supposed woman that had a story i don't know what the hell the source is i don't have the video but she's going at her because she went against the sisterhood and that's the thing if you're not as miserable if you don't have you know what i'm saying a bag you know a popcorn bag or a you know satin pillow sheet wrapped across your head and you don't agree with the sisterhood it's a problem they're going to come and attack you and even if you speak the truth as a woman they're going to attack you it's hilarious man this is why uh these women are going to die alone and i even read a comment on my last video which was hilarious the dogs and the cats and the plants don't even like them they don't even like these women so they, they probably run away and the plants probably die immediately they're going to be so alone they're going to be staring at the walls they're probably going to end up in one of those padded rooms 
or talking to themselves on the side of the freeway, pushing a cart with a parrot on their shoulder that's trying to fly away, that's glued, you know what I'm saying, somewhere in downtown Detroit, Michigan, and or they're just going to end up in a padded room, like I said, in one of them straight jackets, talking to themselves, because these women are absolutely insane how they act, how they are, how they treat other women who actually speak factually. And because their um, truths and beliefs or their, their, their what, what is this delusion that they always say, oh, my truth, all their my truths, if they don't line up, they're the enemy. And if men don't agree with them, they're F boys, they're sassy, they're not what we want, they're dusty. It's crazy to me. Logic, reason is just out the window. A lot of women do not possess it any longer. When I was coming up, women had logic. Women had reason. Women understood men. These women, they're just teaming up so they can keep dragging each other off this ladder to nowhere. It's pretty much, they, they think they're going up, but they're, I guess they're up as hell. And they're just pulling each other down, trying to keep each other down at the bottom of the pit so they could just all be chewed up by feminism, be chewed up by loneliness homelessness and just absolutely going out of their mind and being in a worse mental health state than they already are a lot of these women need to be evaluated a lot of these women's brains bro they need to be looked at like really examined they need to examine these people ask them questions these people are nuts but anyway let's get to the next video i'm not surprised and i know you guys aren't either wow the delusion and the ridiculousness of the sisterhood it's, it's crazy I go like to go take care of that man. That's mean she will do everything for make sure you comfortable in her country. Dating with sign that Thai girl joy and a lot of their joy that account is mean Thai Cupid and Tinder. So if you find teach you how to say it's up to you or oh up to you in Thai language. So, first of all, the phrase is แล้วแต่คุณ แล้วแต่คุณ I go like to go take care of that man That means she will do everything for make sure you comfortable in her country Dating with sign that Thai girl joy and a lot of their joy that account is mean Thai Cupid and Tinder So if you find or you join Thai Cupid and Tinder, you're gonna find a good girl, good Thai girl in there. She really honestly, she really sincere with you and I'm gonna tell you, if you start to date with her, you gonna feel comfortable and she gonna do for make sure you feel like a key. And guys, this is why these hair had hooligans, these horsehair chicks are losing to women overseas, like in Thailand. That's why my homies like, screw Colombia, let's go to Thailand. They're ready because these women, they know how to treat a man. They made me smile from ear to ear. They're feminine and a guys, this is sad because guys are so easy. We're so easy to please, yet American women have no clue. How do you not know? Men tell women exactly what they want men are very simple we are easy to understand we only want about three or four things out of women yet american women don't get it but these women overseas they understand these women in other countries they are taking men this is why passport bros are so successful this is why passport bros are having such a great time and western women are so pissed off this is exactly why they talk negative about us call us pookies and ray rays and dusties and call us sassy is because when we find out that we have the true power because women already know that their power is a man who doesn't understand his own power that's a woman's best and greatest power is when you don't know your own power your own value once you start understanding your own value they want to call you names because they cannot stand up to the pressure these women right here are putting pressure on our western women western women that don't even qualify for anything long term they only qualify for 15 minutes on the pony and getting kicked out that's it this is exactly why passport bros moving it's going to continue 2024 is our year this is the end of the video I, I have nothing more to say this is exactly why guys go overseas man god i can't wait bro i can't wait i have to, I have to start planning man seriously i gotta get the hell out of here I love entertaining you guys. I love making these videos, but I got to get out of there and I got to film out there. It's important. Wow. 
so guys that's the end of the video make sure you guys like the video sub to the channel if you guys are not already sub with post notifications on because i'm pretty much trying to post a video every single day keep up to date with me and i will keep on putting out this content that you guys love thank you for watching i love all my brothers and my sisters that are out there there's a few women that are down for the cause they understand what's going on and they don't identify with none of this stuff and they're watching the videos i appreciate you guys all i love you all I'll see you guys all in the next video get your passport and use it 2024 guys we're picking guys up we're not pushing them down in the dirt we're saying come with us learn this game get these gains understand you know how to how to uh navigate have experience go overseas get your money up we're all about keeping the guys uh in line in check so they don't have to deal with these women anymore that are trying to keep you in line and take your check you get what i'm saying so i'm out of here i'll see you guys all in the next video peace